head of a kundalini crystal, uh, a citrine crystal. Now this this one is quite quite dark, um, almost going towards a smoky quartz, but citrine nonetheless. I think with strong lighting you'll find that it is yellow to part section, and I suspect the yellow coloration is caused by inclusions of perhaps sulphur in the quartz. I'm not sure. Um, all absolutely natural, so as it occurs in nature. What I find quite fascinating about this little crystal is this formation on this side. Now often you have some abstract forms on these quartzes. Have a look there. It's a self-healed section running across the main face. There's a crystalline face across there. This is what I find quite appealing about this guy. Quite, quite different and a very, very dark uh, uh, citrine. Almost something between citrine and smoky quartz. Just get a bit of focus on that. Let's go a little bit further. Let's go in like that. There we go. So let's see if we can actually see into the faces. We can see into the bottom section. There you'll see it's a smoky, uh, well, almost smoky uh, uh, citrine. Very, very dark. And of course, with backlighting, you'll find the yellow coming out more. All absolutely natural. Um, intense, dark, honey, honey yellow on this one. Let's go across again. Struggling to photograph this one, keep it in focus. Ah, there we go. All the way from the uh, Congo. Quite a, quite a magnificent assemblage of minerals we do find in the deposits of the Congo. Of course, this is not from the section where the copper mines are. This is from the uh, section bordering with uh, Zambia, Mansa to be uh, specific. Look at that little extra face on top there as well. Quite, quite interesting.